Hello, we're going to be working on unit or uh, 11.6. There are two pages, still working on the concept of addition and putting sets together. I'm going to start with the page that is pretty blank, and then we'll do this page. For this page, it says, listen to the teacher's directions, um, or listen as your teacher tells you an addition story problem. So you have a lot of freedom with this. You can use the paper. You don't have to use the paper. You can use pretzels. That's my manipulative of the day. I will not be eating those later. Don't worry. Um, some examples you could do is Freddie has three soccer balls. And you could make your three soccer balls. And then his sister, Julie, has two soccer balls. And I could draw jo Julie's two soccer balls. How many soccer balls do they have all together? Well, he has three soccer balls and she has two soccer balls and I count them together. One, two, three, four, and five. And you can do um, any numbers you want with this. If your child wants to do um, 10 and 13, uh, four and three, I mean, you can kind of just play with it the way you'd like. Another example that you could do would be, um, you have six apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. You go apple picking and you pick three more. One, two, three. How many apples do we have all together? Well, we have our six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make a C, close it up. And then we pick three more. Two, three. And then we can count them. I know this is six. So I'm going to go six, seven, eight, nine. So you can make any story problem you'd like. You can do it just with using things. Um, you had three pretzels, but then you snuck into the pantry and took two more pretzels. How many pretzels do you have? And we can even start with subtraction. If you have five pretzels and you eat two of them, how many pretzels do you have left? So this is something that's real easy to work with addition and subtraction with little pretzels, little uh, anythings to kind of get the concept in their brains and more fluid. So if I have five pretzels and my brother, oops, six, if I have five, six pretzels and my brother doesn't want the rest of his pretzels and he gives me four, how many pretzels do I have? If I have 10 pretzels and my baby sister spits up on two of them, how many pretzels do I have left? That's another way you could um, use the concept of addition and subtraction. Now this paper here, five pretzels, it's the concept of dominoes. It's fill in the domino and write the numbers to make the statement true. Well, they give you the empty domino, they give you two blanks, and we're making 10. So it's different combinations to make 10. Now, the tricky part of this is we don't want to repeat. We don't want them to be all the same. I could easily do five and five make 10, five and five make 10, five and five make 10. But what you can do instead is I slam my hands on. I can pretend this is my domino. So I don't even have to write anything. I don't have to draw anything. This could be my two dominoes and I have my 10 pretzels. And I can just take a handful and scatter them on. So I know I have 10 pretzels all together and I can count the different combinations. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Three and seven make 10. You wanna make it a little bit more advanced. You're just kind of mixing them up. I'm gonna count these ones. One, two, three, four. How many more do I need to make 10? So without counting, guess or figure out or use your fingers a different way to engage your brain figure out how many are on this side. So if I have four here, how many do I need to make 10? So I can use my fingers and put down four. I can use my thinker and figure it out. And then I could also just count it. If you want to fill out the page, we're not repeating. So um, a pattern you could start with is one and then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and nine. And then you can just start going up on this side. Two and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two and eight. Make an S and do not stop. Connect the bottom to the top. Now that way I'm not going to be repeating and I can continue my pattern to make three on that side. And 
then if I had eight, take away one, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So fill out the page doing different combinations. Use your snacks, use your fingers, whatever you would like. Thank you very much.